Hey, what's up guys? This is Brant's back at, on the YouTube channel for Smoky Valley Vision Tech. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw a banner for your YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, let's get right into that. Mm, all right, so when you're first starting off um, with your YouTube banner, I didn't even know what I was doing because um, on my YouTube channel, it's just the, the name and a blank background. So today I'm gonna be drawing mine. Um, it needs an update since I last made mine three years ago. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like here on the screen. Yeah, so I just showed you what it looked like and um, it needs an update after like three years, I think I said. So uh, first I'm gonna update it and make it into something I like now. Like, I like anime a lot, so, um, yeah, let's get right into that. First, starting off, we are using a app or software called Clip Studio Paint. Um, it's, f I'm pretty sure it's free, but then there's other methods of payment that you can get. There's, like, an X version and a Pro version, and I have the full X version. As you can see up at the top, up here, it says X. Um, so right now I already have my thing um, set up and in the description I will put this image in here because if you color into this uh, text spot right here or whatever if you draw in there um, and then put it on it should be that length uh, on the YouTube banner um, also sorry if you hear my keyboard it's mechanical and uh, yeah that's all I have right now so um, <clears throat> anyway I'm gonna go over this app and I'm gonna show you some of the tools I use and um, some other things that could help you before I start this uh, video so yeah so right over here we have um, the pencils or the pen tools and stuff like that if you look up here where I'm scrolling up here there's some pens up here that I use um, so for outlining I use this real G pen it's really good for uh, manga and stuff like that um, and I could show some of my uh, pictures that I'll show you um, that I use, but for f like references and stuff like that, like just sketching, I'll use this mechanical pencil and then yeah, I'll go over this with the real G pen. Um, I also have some other pens up here, um, but yeah, and there's even some cool pens like this um, that you can see I have that make people in the backgrounds. If I'm ever like, drawing and have like a town in the background with people um this is always good for it for that um oops um so over here you can see there's uh the layers so if i take these off see right here this is my youtube uh banner select so um i'm gonna add this layer up here and we'll click this and now I can draw on this and it won't mess with that background back there if I click this off, see? Um, but that that's how I'm gonna make sure I can draw everything on here safely. And if we go up here, there's the opacity for this background. So if I, I'm not gonna want this in my final sketch. So I'm gonna turn that off once I'm done. But um, yeah, let's get into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a character named Luffy from One Piece um, for my banner. Um, he's one of my favorite characters and I think that it just represents me. I've done other projects with uh, Luffy and me, basically, where I merged myself into Luffy and um, yeah, so let's get into that.
um, this will be a good way to show you. So here, um, up here, there's some moving tools that I can move this layer around. And um, even if I lasso this, let's say, and then I wanna move this down, I'll click this and see now I will downscale it a little bit there just because I want to add some pants to them and stuff like that move them over and then over here is the deselect we'll click that and now you should be good to uh, start sketching again So right now, as you can see here, if I zoom out, this is what it looks like. Um, and I still have a lot of space over here. So I'm figuring out what I should do with it. And over here, especially. Um, I'm definitely gonna have here, so like air beanie. Yeah, I don't know. I got an idea of how I'm gonna do this. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back. So what I'm doing right now is I'm adding some smoke around him because if you've ever seen One Piece, when he level, uh, powers up, smoke goes around him. So what I'm thinking is when the smoke comes around, I'm gonna have this go into like my name. So my my name will actually be like uh, smoke. So here's just a thing, like you know I'll have it like this and like the font will look more like a, a smoke feel. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. And um, I'm also thinking about adding maybe uh, another character over here because um, from One Piece, just so it, uh, you know, looks a little better than just Luffy there. Uh, so yeah, let's get into that. So the character I'm drawing here, his name is Chopper, Tony Tony Chopper, and he's a little cute uh, reindeer slash human um, in the show. Um, his power up is he was a normal reindeer, but then uh, he turned into a human type. So he talks and he's actually the doctor of the ship. So um, yeah. That's a little bit more, and right now I'm just having the rough sketch. So he's over here, and Luffy will be over here. So yeah. I'm gonna add actually a text box thing just because. Here, I'll show you. So now I have my name, and we're gonna, gonna make this bigger. There we go, yeah. A lot bigger. Um, we're gonna put it like this. So actually, on here, I will show you there's a, a thing for the font. So right now I can change what this looks like if I highlight it. Um, what would be a good one for a smoke-like effect? That, no, that wouldn't look good. I'll do, um, let's look. We're gonna make it this big. We're gonna make it a little bit stretched out. Why not? Um. This might be a good uh, font for now. I don't know what else would look good now. We're gonna we're gonna keep this font for now. Um, we're gonna change it to white. There we go. I get rid of this. All right. 
so now that it's white it doesn't look the best as of right now but i'm gonna adjust it and um yeah i'll be back after i fix it up and make it look good So now, as you can see, the smoke is kind of coming alive with how uh, my tie my banner will look. Um, I'll add some more uh, smoke over here just to make this look a little bit better. Hmm. All right, cool. So now it, it, it's looking a little bit better. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> fix a lot of things up but trust me we'll get a lot better so let's get into that so one thing i'm gonna say before i uh finish this up or start making some final looking details here is if you go up here to your pens and you click u on your keyboard you will actually see this and it'll pop up some more tools that you could use and right here i'm gonna i'm gonna use this tool for an example um and let's make it Let's make it like a lighter blue. If you hold this down, look, now it will become a good, perfect square for you that you can use and stuff like that. And then if I fill it in, boom, look at that. It's looking pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. And now that will be my background color for uh, my banner. So yeah, if you just click you up here, and yeah, there's a lot of cool things you can use, like the straight line tool. Um, there's some curves. If you let go and and click it will curve the line if you can see that here i'll make it a little bit bigger oh shoot that's really big but yeah as you can see wherever you move it to it will curve the line um there's even some of these where you just keep clicking um there we go but enough of that now that you know that we're gonna get into finishing this because now we have our little rough sketch. Now we're gonna, well, now we're gonna finish this. So let's get into that.
Hmm, okay, so now that I'm done, I now have my um, banner that I'm going to export. So now, if you go up to File, then we will export this into a JPEG. And we will name this YouTube Banner. Now we will save this <clears throat> and click OK. So this is what I want it to look like. So we'll click OK. And now that that is done, I will show you how to add this to your YouTube Banner. So now that we are here on my channel, we are going to go click this icon up here. And when you do that, it should bring you to your YouTube creator channel. I'm pretty sure create channel and um, see there's my profile picture and then my banner here. So right now, as you can see, this is my banner for like three years. So I'm going, going to change this and I'm going to go to my YouTube banner and see now when I I click done and publish we can now view my channel and see it should be up there um, it looks pretty nice I'm happy with the results uh, considering I did this in a quick amount of time um, but yeah I would give more uh, detail on this program if I could but it's a really complex uh, software that would take like hours. Um, so if you're wanting an in-depth in like um, tutorial on how to use everything, um, I'll do that. But for now, it was just showing you basically the basics of like what I use for tool-wise, how to use some layers over here, um, and just getting an idea of what you want to do and don't worry there's a lot of other ways to uh like make banners um i'm just an artist so i chose to draw this um but yeah uh, that's pretty much it for this video um but yeah if you have any questions leave it in the comments um other than that i'll see you later